we come back into this series of cycles in chapter 12 of Revelation. There was verses 1 to 6 and then 7 to 12 and they speak of these large sweeps of time culminating in the present moment of the people of God, those to whom John speaks. And verses 13 to 17 are, are one more mini cycle of events, speaking again to this moment that we're in after Christ's death, his resurrection and ascension. And while these three cycles in chapter 12, they weave over each other in terms of time, this third cycle is very much committing to the, the time of the church that John and those who hear him are living in. And my, my first reading of these words, where my thoughts linger and where I am finding hope in the work towards Sunday, lies with three promises and a hard truth that are immediately jumping out at me. First, the three promises. First of these is the promise of the wings. And there are echoes in there of some of Isaiah's words that I will need to look at. The promise that God will provide what is needed, that we will fly to the place prepared for us. I remember all the, the conversations and preparations that we took to open up our Renew Wellbeing Cafe space, thinking through each step of someone coming up the path and what that felt like, making sure that people felt welcomed and encouraged as we, as we prepared the way. And God not only prepares the place, but gives us the wings to fly to it, the means to be there. And that sounds like a beautiful promise to explore. And then there is, there is a second promise, that in such a place prepared for us, we will be cared for. Seems such an enormous thing at the moment to be cared for, doesn't it? Seems to be such a viciousness to public life and to politics, to the world around us, where lack of care seems to be overwhelming at times. And in this place prepared for us, you are cared for. Again, another beautiful promise to sit with. And there is a third promise in these verses, that in some way the earth itself, God's creation, is a participant in caring for us. Even in this wee walk here so far, the, the flowers and the berries that are out, it's lifty, make a difference. And when we are damaging the world so much around us, then there is something in the way that we are in the world that is out of kilter, the wrong way around. And I need to reflect on that. So these three promises will lie at the heart of the prayer and reflection towards Sunday. But there is also a hard truth to hear. And this feels particularly resonant for the days that we are Living through just now, there is a, a raging across the earth. And we are being called in this, in this beautiful and powerful cycle of the vision to hold fast to our witness to Jesus in the midst of the raging worlds. Knowing these three promises, wings to fly to the prepared place for us, where we will be cared for, and that the earth itself will be part of that caring and living to the, the experience of these three promises is a stand against the rage of the world. Maybe so. Amen.